Alrighty. We are going to be getting into your boy Willie's power rankings. Guys, as always, I just want to say once again, thank you guys so much. Last week was very overwhelming. Um, <laughs> so um, last week was a lot. So again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting me. And uh, I put a lot of time into this. So again, it's all love. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, to any company who feels like they could have been higher or lower or whatever. Um, you know, I'm really out here trying. So let's see, guys. Let's go. Let's get into the first one here. First one here, guys. Just a little Marama top five again, again. Hey, just just wanting to give out a little bit of the companies that are on Marama, just sh showcasing some Marama, some Marama squads here. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, though, guys. We're gonna be having the number one spot coming up, guys. Number one spot here, Marama, guys. No shocker, no shocker, guys. Let's be honest. You know, no shocker. It's supple. It's supple, guys. I mean, again, I. I, again, I mean, I know it's a bit, it's bland. It's a bit bland, but guys, it is what it is. Number one, supple, supple. Look at that, though. Take a look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. You guys like it, dude. I'm telling you, man. Uh, you know, we, we getting out there, dude. A little bit different overlay. Um, looking pretty solid. Um, you know, looking pretty good here, man. Looking pretty good. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy that. But anyway, though, this company cannot be stopped. This will be four weeks in a row that Supple has held number one. They started the week by decimating Trin Hard and Monarchs, then having successful defenses all week against Mod TC. I said you could argue CK was a Supple roster, but not if their 50 stack um, was a lot off the roster um, slotted. It, it's hard to say if that's a loss, and I don't think um, that would be a loss in my personal opinion. I, I really don't think so. I, I think, you know, hey... Um, it's not enough. It's not their 50 stack. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Now it's still a dub, but I don't think it's their 50 stack. So, you know, and we saw, I mean, obviously tonight doesn't affect it, but guys, this is what I'm talking about. Supple looking so strong and also raising the question, raising the question on who is their competition? Who is going to, you know, who's going to be competing against these guys, guys. It's just, you know, it, it's looking so good. It is just looking so good for the supple squad here on Marama. Again, I'm happy for them. These guys, guys coming in i'm um, able to make something you know able to make something happen in marama again having a, a small not as much success in pluto but guys come in here guys they're still number one and they're holding that for four weeks four weeks in a row guys it is what it is supple on top I'm gonna be getting into the next one I'm gonna be getting into the next one guys number two number two guys it's got to be copium Copium once again holding down number two. Copium looking solid. These guys are looking very good. And I think that's very fair. I think that's very fair to say Copium looking very good. And I think nobody else would be uh, too surprised. Again, Copium had another fantastic week. They started out defending against Trent and Brightwood, then taking Everfall from Mod TC. In the process, they lost Restless, but they obviously focused for Everfall. Um, but the payoff was worth it. Then with multiple defense wins, Copium's looking like a serious contender for the number one spot let's see how this week goes um now and, and now here's the thing though you know copium this you know i have i have a conversation to talk about this so i'm not going to get too deep into it right now i'm going to talk about it a little bit after this um but this is this is what i'm talking about you know copium is in that covenant faction and right now covenant is on top obviously though copium they have a good solid roster with or without supple um they are just looking strong copium again looking to be top contenders and quite honestly if they can keep it up who knows who knows? They could they could potentially take uh, take number one at some point. But guys, right now, obviously, Copium cannot be fighting Supple. Let's get into the third pick. Let's get into the third pick, guys. Let's go again. Hey, Copium holding down number two. Holding down number two. Let's go. Number three. It's Trinhard. I put Trinhard at number three. I think Trinhard deserves a number three spot. Now I know that you know I, I, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little cap. It's gonna, some people are gonna be thinking, oh, what are you talking about? But guys, let me explain here. Trinhard had a good week. They started off by getting destroyed in Monarchs. Now again, though, supple. Supple guys, it's supple. I mean, hey, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. After they had a very strong war, um, taking Copium to Fort 
very fast. They got taken to four, and I think they looked, they did good. They got, you know, that was very convincing. Now, guys, Copium is number two at the moment. They um, they then captured First Light convincingly against Gabagool. They 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 destroyed First Light, then beating Gabagool again and taking Rest of the Shores. On top of that, defending First Light right after um, against Mew. Um, now, Trin started the week shaky, but is looking very solid. You know what I mean? I seriously think, you know, I think personally, um, at the moment, when it comes down to this week, um, when it comes down to this week specifically, I think Trin Hart had a bit better of a week. Um, you know what I mean? I, you know, I just think they did. You know, yeah, you lost your territory, but you you plus two. You plus two, and you're feeling pretty good about that. So I think Trin Hart deservedly um, gets that third spot. I think that's totally fair, and I think they're looking pretty solid, man. I want to see um, Trin Hart focus up a little bit more. Um, I want to see Trin Hart focus up a little bit more on the points. Or my bad, on the point in the fourth. That's kind of what I want to see. I think the fourth game for Trin Hart is a little shaky, but I think they got some solid players. So I'm looking forward to seeing more out of that squad. Let's go. Number four, going to be coming up. Going to be coming up, guys. Number four, guys. And, it, and, and guys, you guys already know. It's going to be my TC. It's going to be my TC, guys. My TC going to be holding down the number four spot. A little small, um, you know, a little small adjustment here um, on the power rankings. But we know that. Um, we know that, guys. I love my TC. But this was a rough week for them. Starting it off with them losing Everfall to Copium Squad. They then had three attack wars, two against Supple, taking them to four in the last few minutes um, in them. Now they take uh, Cutlass Keys from Own the Night. I said, but, you know, Supple supposedly was the squad defending it. It wasn't their main roster, so it's hard to say if that's a win against Supple. However, they did take it regardless. Um, so, you know, it, it's... It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, you know what I mean? I, I think, um, you know, MonTC being able to take Cutlass Keys, I wanted to give that because they were fighting a lot of Supple. It was confirmed. There was 45 Supple. Now, granted, it wasn't main roster Supple, but there was still 45 Supple. And being able to take Supple to Fort two times in a row this week is pretty convincing. I think, and you know, that looks good. Taking Supple to Fort, even though there's a few minutes left, is looking good. Now, I know they had a rough war tonight, um, but that's going to be put on the next week's power rankings. So, um, hey, it is what it is. Montc going to be holding down that four slot. And I think, you know, I think that's pretty fair. Um, I think that's that, that's fairly fair here. Well, uh, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys, fifth spot going to be Gabagool. Gabagool going to be holding down the fifth spot. And, again, I think that, you know, I, there's an argument that Gabagool could even be over um, Montc a little bit. Um, but I think Gabagool is a convincing fifth spot here. And now Gabagool is holding down the Syndicate faction, and you love to see it. They took Restless from Copium at the start of the week, not their main roster. Um, you know, just want to point that out. They had some attacks and got to fort against strong opponents like Montc and Copium. They're having a hard time getting to the top but not backing down and continue to strive to get better. And I do think, um, and I do think that's something to be said about um um, I think that's something to be said about the Gabagool squad. You know, they're, they're not backing down. Um, they are continuing to try and get better. And I think they're doing a decent job at it. I really do. I think they're doing a pretty good job. The super, hey, I'm glad you guys like the animations and stuff. Yeah, I have a lot of help from the community. Obviously, we've got some new backgrounds and stuff. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. But, guys, let's get into this next question. I think this poses um, a question here on the server. Now, we're going to be getting to um, a little bit of my homemade stuff. Um, the Covenant Takeover, guys. Marama is covered in yellow, and it's hard to say when this control might stop. They have two companies leading the charge on the faction and working well with smaller companies in their faction. I hope this doesn't hurt the server, but who's going to stop these guys? And that's the question. You you know, I mean, that, you know, that's the thing. I think something to be said, too, is these guys are not like mortal enemies. You know what I mean? These guys are not mortal enemies. Um, the, You know, these guys are, um, you know, they're helping. You know, they're doing good as a faction. They are, you know, they're doing good holding down a faction. And at the moment... I'm worried. I'm worried for the, you know, I'm worried for the server. I don't want to see it die. But, man, I don't think, you know, people are having a hard time fighting these uh fighting these companies these guys are absolutely owning marama so just a conversation to be had a conversation to be had here so let's go let's get into the next one and guys 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 let's talk about it willie's company to look out for imperial trolls imperial trolls didn't have a whole lot of wars this week however they had a strong attack against copium and everfall and they got to the fort with uh, 15 minutes left looking strong on the points um had a hard time in fort but excited to see more i gotta say for the you know for you know a company to look out for from this server that's what i'm talking about you know a strong attack against copium um you know it, it's pretty good at this point you know you took it to four against a strong squad and honestly when i was watching that war it could 
could have been possible for a take. So, um, you know, it's very possible. It's very possible Imperial Troll is going to be on the lookout here. Um, and, hey, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep getting into it, guys. The bench. The bench, guys. Is Soup done for? What happened to them? No declare this week, and they had a bit of a shaky defense against Pariah and Weaver's Finn. Is, is, what is happening with the Soup Kitchen squad, guys? Is Soup done for? I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I don't know. I, somebody said that they even disbanded. I don't know. Um, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Did, can somebody confirm in the chat? I mean, are they dead? I'm not sure. I mean, I, unfortunately, I, I, I've heard in the chat multiple times that they disbanded. And they didn't get a declare this week. They had a shaky defense against Pariah. So, I don't know. I don't know. They, they might be holding down the bench. Um, at the moment, the kitchen might be closed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. An e-girl ended them? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. All right. But, hey, I'm just saying, um, I'm just saying, hey, um, it is what it is. Um, we'll be moving forward from here. I hope to see Soup making an appearance again. But at the moment, they're having a hard time. They're having a hard time, guys. Up-and-comers, just a little bit of up-and-comers, guys. You got Pariah, own the night, mute yourself. These guys, you know, hey, they had some wars this week. Um, Pariah looking pretty good in Weavers, but again, Soup Kitchen against, uh, you know, whoever owns um, Weavers Fan at the moment, own the night still um, there. Oh, yeah, Pepe, uh, Pepe Trent. I figure Pepe Trent is this trend, Fernando. Um, mute yourself. Um, mute yourself is going to be, uh, you know, they had a war, but to be honest, we are, uh, we are um, losing it. With Tachi, thank you for the biddies. You know, um, thank you for the biddies with Tachi. Let's go. But, yeah, just some up-and-comers here. But, guys, it's going to be time. Uh, we're going to be looking at the map. And, again, uh, this is the map right now. It was all yellow. Dude, it is just a lot of yellow. It is a whole lot of yellow here. Again, the map as of 621. 621, the map still looking really good, man. A lot. Three territories copium. Three territories supple. Um, absolutely insanity here happening. Uh, crazy stuff here crazy stuff but guys this is going to be a little bit of the end board here just a little shot a little shot of where i think the power rankings end this week and uh, yeah that's going to be that here guys don't go anywhere though we're going to be getting into castle of steel and i got a lot of castle of steel people in the chat um i know you guys are really excited for this and this time i had a little bit more um notes a little bit more in depth i took notes on every war that happened this week so let's get into it going to be getting into castle of steel let's go let's go Oh, wait, guys, no. First shout-out, guys. This is what I wanted to shout-out first. I wanted to put this on here, guys. The tournament. I want to say this while we have a lot of people here um, for the power rankings. Um, we will, There will be a 5v5 tournament here. Supple is going to be hosting it on Marama. One million um, gold prize pool, guys. Get that Discord information. Um, get that Discord information, guys. Going to be doing it in the chat. Exclamation mark, tourney. Join that Discord if you guys are interested. Um, you know, it, you know, we got, uh, you know, it's going to be good. I'm going to be shoutcasting it. I'm going to be trying to stream it. So um, I will be there. So consider consider joining that tournament. Your boy Willie will be shoutcasting this. So you guys should sign up there. Sign up in the Discord. But let's go, guys. Just want to give a quick shout out to this. But guys, we're going to be getting into these next power rankings. Castle of Steel. Castle of Steel. Look, you know, hey, these are just some of the companies. Once again, once again, some of the companies on Castle of Steel, guys. Now let's go. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, guys. Guys, guys, guys. The number one spot. It's got to be Handsome Blokes. Handsome Blokes going to be holding down the number one spot here. Looking fantastic this week. Absolute insanity coming out for these handsome boys. Guys, han these are some handsome blokes. Blokes started the week off taking technical to Fort, defending Rest of Shores from GGs, defending against technical and MD, then beating Just Business and Everfall. Now, they lose Restless to Black Tuna in the last six minutes. Prim, is that you? Now, that is not a good look for sure. But when it comes to the week as a whole, Blokes had a fantastic week, and I'm looking forward to more. More. I'm looking forward to more. So, you know, I, you know, again, <laughs> Blokes able to take Everfall, looking really solid um, on the server. And again, one thing to be shaky about is I don't know what's happening on the defense. We had Ashy on the interview, and he was even saying they got the worst defense. Um, they got the worst defense in the game. So, I don't know. We'll see moving forward um, how they do. But right now, I think they definitely deserve, um, they definitely deserve um, that spot here. They definitely deserve it 
at the number one spot, taking Everfall, taking the throne from Just Business. Um, and, and again, guys, I, it was it was crazy. They had a fantastic showing, and this isn't even with um, this isn't even with the uh, the war tonight. The, the war tonight is going to be for next way or next uh, week. Excuse me. So let's go, handsome blokes, holding it down, holding it down, guys. Let's take a look at number two. Let's take a look at number two, guys. Let's go. That's going to be getting into it. Handsome Blokes, grats on the number one spot. Number two going to be coming in hot. It's just business. It's still just business. Now, this is before tonight. Now, I know some people are going to be like, hey, yo. No, some people before tonight are going to be like, hey, yo, but hear me out. I want you to hear me out. Hey, yo, hear me out. Again, this was last week. Now, it's still just business, baby. They started the week defending against the Fodic and the Colt pretty well, but then losing Everfall for sure is a rough spot for the business squad. They own two territories still and one being the massive territory wins word um again guys this was uh this was definitely um you know this was definitely the uh this is before the rankings i said this may free up the squad to attack though i want to see that so i want to see the squad attack here obviously um just business um you know they, they were looking solid again we're not talking about today um we're not talking about today um at the moment just business um at this point though in the power rankings i think did deserve the number two spot um they're holding they held down Winsward at the time and uh, you know it's looking solid you know just business um they were looking good i think i want to see them on attack i want to see how they adjust to the meta a little bit more and we'll see uh, we'll see moving forward but i think the meta might need uh, you know you might need to adjust a little bit to it but it is what it is guys let's get into the number three spot number three spot coming in here for castle of steel castle of steel on the number three spot here it's gonna be technical technical gonna be owning gonna be owning the number three spot here i think technical does own it here i mean no look i gotta say i gotta say i think technical has it i know i know now this is not look don't let me hear me out hear me out though hear me out though a lot of people are saying that technical has left the server i don't know how true that is but before that happened technical was having a strong week that's why somebody was telling me in the chat somebody was telling me in the chat technical's leaving i'm like yo i'm looking through the data and it's not looking that bad starting off the week being able to defend against the handsome blokes guys who was number one guys they started off the week defending against handsome blokes who literally just took just business there were two territories from just business then attacking them in morningdale and having a very competitive war almost taking it a few times i think this squad is starting to find its identity and i'm looking forward to see more but guys i gotta take that back because i don't know how true it is but technical um rumors having it saying they left the damn server and i was like why when i was looking at the data it was looking solid for him so i might have to just take them completely off the list in the future i don't know um but but again i i, I mean at the time i was really curious i'm like uh, it's weird they held against black you know handsome blokes they had a good wa a war against blokes and then you know and blokes technically beats just business two times in a row it's like well hey technicals looking solid but hey it is what it is full aggro says tech on cos still hey hey it is what it is man um but hey you know hey technical i think owning the third spot regardless if they're still here they're owning the third spot i don't know i think they did a good job i know i know you guys are gonna roast me cos roast me every time dude cos gets on me bro but it is what it is man i look at the data and i will say i had a hard time i have a hard time with this i have a hard time with this but let's go let's go let's get into it now i know you guys you guys you know number four spot gonna be coming up Guys, number four spot. It's the Mantis Shrimp Squad. What? What is the Mantis Shrimp Squad? The Mantis Shrimp Squad coming in for number four. Hey, yo. Guys, Mantis Shrimp. And this is the Shrimp Squad. Mantis Shrimp Squad. They may have only had one war this week. But, guys, they took it from the handsome blokes with them being rated my number one this week, that means something. I know they had some mercs as well, but still, they're company. So big grats. Looking forward to more. Guys, <coughs> guys, the Mantis Shrimp Squad or Tuna, whatever you want to call them, the fish people. These guys, they won against Handsome Blokes right after. You know, Handsome Blokes coming off of a clean dub on Just Business. And you got to say, hey, if Mantis Shrimp Squad can win against Blokes, then you got to imagine whatever roster they can build together here, um, it's, you know, it's for something. They can build something together here um, that can fight against, um, you know, companies like Handsome Blokes. 
and handsome blokes. Hey, it is what it is. They took rest ashore from blokes, and I think that means a lot. Um, you know, side territories or not, I think being able to take, um, you know, wars off of top companies means a lot. But hey, it is what it is, guys. Mantis, Mantis Shrimp Squad or Tuna Squad, whatever. Let's go. Hey, whatever it is. Hey, <laughs> you know, that's what they are. I gotta get Doctor Toboggan in there too, guys. You gotta, you gotta be, gotta be <laughs> Mantis Toboggan. All right, let's go. Yeah, I did watch it. Let's go. I'm gonna be getting into the fifth pick. I know you guys are going to hate me. You guys are going to hate me. I still have a phonic. I still have a phonic. I still want to have faith, guys. I know some people are going to be, guys, spam alphotic. Everybody's going to be spamming alphotic, but I still have them as number five. Now, guys, I'm going to, this is going to draw a bigger conversation for Castle of Steel. Before you guys eat me alive, a phonic is going to hold down the fifth spot, but barely. I'm barely. There are a whole ton of companies on COS that could have this. I want to stay. I even put it here. However, they did take Just Business to Fort. Now, in hindsight, you know, you know, hands some blokes taking him to fort it's hard to judge this squad with one war this week i think they are on top or they are one of the stronger companies but risk losing this spot due to lack of wars they push it though and this is the thing i'm not reading chat because you guys are gonna be eating me alive i think the roster when a father can war they're looking very strong and i think they had a convincing war now this was before i saw you know i saw a whole lot of uh jb um struggling but it is what it is i think a father can pull together a decent roster here now i know there's gonna be a lot of questions i'm not looking at chat you guys can't see my face but i'm not looking at chat i know there's going to be black flag there's going to be valid there's going to be group a go b now guys i want to talk about that i want to talk about that and, and this is exactly what i want to transition to castle of companies but wait there's more this isn't even it either some companies may feel they are stronger um than some placed on the list however you can only have so many wars a week i think all of these companies had a good week like there's more even too like there is more there there is more I think all these companies um, could have more wars. Now, look, now, like, I'll go through them. Group A, go B. Um, they had a solid defense against the Black Flag squad. That's a dub. Valid. Um, you know, valid. They, uh, you know, they had a solid. They only had one war in Ebenskill that I casted. The, you know what I mean? Like, in the last week, I was able to cast that war. Now, they had another one today. And lucky they, they had an attack. And I couldn't, you know, that's going to be for next week, though. But valid, looking solid. They did defend Ebenskill, but it was one, it was one defense and it was against, um, I think, the healer group. So I don't know their power. You know what I mean? And Abyss B team, um, they kind of just been, I don't know, they've been a little AWOL a little bit. But Black Flag, now Black Flag had a good week as well. Um, but again, it was only two wars. And don't panic again with only two wars again. And I think there's a bigger conversation. Um, I think there's a bigger conversation for Castle of Steel to be had here um, about how many companies are actually on this server getting declares. You guys make it hard. Because each company, because each company from you guys, guys has like one or two you know one or two wars like it's like one or two wars each company and there's just a billion wars going down and it's hard to get a power ranking bro you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, it just it is what it is. I think all these companies could have been that fifth spot, though. Like, you know what I mean? Quite frankly, I, I think all these companies could have been that fifth spot, or even fourth. I, I mean, I it's hard to tell. Whenever you get to this bottom, um, I might even have to make a top ten for next week because there's so many companies on Castle of Steel. How was tuning number four, dude? Because they beat handsome blokes. None of these companies beat handsome blokes this week, and blokes is my number one. No, I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you, no, I'm telling you, you guys could be upset, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I, it is what it is. I know it sounds weird, but I went through this for hours and I tried, and you know what? It is what it is, man. I, I think I need to see. So now, you know, <laughs> I know you guys are gonna be eating me alive. I haven't been reading these comments. You guys are gonna kill me. Look, I'm tired. I, <laughs> I tell you, this is why I have this like. It's Castle of Steel is is absolute insanity right now there's so many of you guys there's so many companies it's like how do i like i need a top 10 i need a top 10 dude um but there's so many but hey it is what it is that's what it is at the moment and valid though looking solid today again these companies are looking good guys again it's nothing against them this was the map as of 6 14 2022 obviously wins would be changing um today and it's so is weaver so the map looking already different and see that's what i'm talking about about castle of steel that's what i'm talking about the map is the map is uh, ever changing here, and it's hard. A lot of companies get in wars, and you know you may agree or disagree with this list, and that's fine. And that's fine, dude. I know. I know it's all love at the end of the day. I said this last time. It's all love at the end of the day. So if you if you agree, if you disagree, that's totally okay. Um, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to get some things uh, put together here. 
Um, <laughs> it is what it is, guys. It is. There it is, guys. That is that is going to end the boy Willie's power rankings. I know you guys are going to eat me alive here. Um, but again, in this week, that is what I was seeing. You know, uh, it, one or one company um, each. You know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But I hope I can try and continue more, though. Again, just because, um, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and put, um, you know, again, I said last week, I'm going to try and put everything I can into trying to um, accurately display these things. But again, guys, the power shifts are shifting. Like we saw today, Handsome Blokes, again, winning Windsor. The power shift is shifting on this server. Like every week is going to be drastically different. So, I'm looking forward to it again. Your boy really not going to go anywhere. Process. Thank you for the follow. Um, you know, thank you for the follow. Thank you for being here. But hey, it is what it is. It is. What it, I know you guys are going to hate me, but hey, that is it. That is it. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, guys. I know. I know you guys. Oh God, I gotta hide my face, dude. I shouldn't even put my face on screen. I can't even do this. I can't even put my face on here. <laughs> 